Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Zane Malik and Selena Gomez. Let us see what we have here. Wow, adventures. So we have adventures for Selena, and we have pleasure for Zane. Really? <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is about making a judgment call. Good judgment when it comes to Selena. And oh boy, we have shady ass behavior here. Now, is this just to have some fun with Selena or is this adventure um, pleasure oriented here? There's some kind of deception here. I don't like it already. <laughs> Somebody's needing to reflect and assess something here, gain some knowledge about something. Let's look at the after tarot. Ooh, she's looking for the one, somebody to get married to, the one that she's partnering up with, who's the one, yeah, and things are going to be torn down big, quick, and fast when it comes to Zane. Now, whether he is seeing someone else and he meets Selena and they have something together there, there's still a third party here. And Spirit's like, yeah, no, not going to be happening on my watch. Selena's too much of a sweetheart. Let's have a look here when it comes to this. Now, <laughs> I can't get over the, and this may be just something unexpected, but with the tower here, it's telling me it's more pleasure based. Maybe, hmm. let's see about nothing is yet set in stone. Thank you for that spirit on Selena's side. And what about Zane? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So let's cut the deck on that adjustments are required so needing to adjust his energy now whether that is letting someone else go or changing a perspective or an attitude here or behavior let's have a look here for her yeah she is coming up full-blown empress right now she's already done all the work she's very in tune i feel like she's maybe does yoga or is very spiritually based here. What about Zane? Okay, so the page of wands. Okay, acts on chance. This is kind of like that, um, how, do you, how do I put that? Impulsive is kind of what I'm getting with that. Being a little bit of impulsive, like reactionary. Let's see. Yeah, she's going to want some truth here. He may see her as somebody that is a little guarded, I'm kind of feeling here. Let's have a look at her. What is her after tarot? Yeah, she got the message maybe from Spirit or maybe gave him the message <laughs> that I am playing here. This is, she sees things as serious. This isn't something she just does for fun she's a relationship type of person she's looking for the one yes she's the ruby star she's in the flow i embody my authentic and sensual essence so she's very magnetic i want to say very sensual and very mysterious and what about zane the storyteller the intuition i am the narrator of my life so he may be making up his story as he goes towards what he wants for fulfillment perhaps let's see yeah so i'm kind of feeling like she may chase him let's see here and she may put up boundaries here there may be boundaries i'm kind of feeling like this needs to go like this to saying I'm feeling like she's got the boundaries and he's the chaser, passionately wanting things. Let's see. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Hmm. 
This may be just some type of conflict. She may not like what she's seeing here. Yeah, there might be a third party involved or just likes to party, party, party. Let's see here. What's the palace? How things, how, how this relationship might go between the two of them. What's going on here for their energy? Oh, yeah, an ending. I don't doubt that. I feel like she's grown. She's changed something here. Yeah, he's wanting that stability, security, maybe likes to perform. There may be growth that he learns from this. Yeah, she's all about her own wealth and satisfaction, material success, being practical, nurturing, and reliable. She's, she's very grounded, I feel. Let's see, what about Zane? Wow, Hierophant. He may want to get married, but mm, the shady behavior, I'm not liking this. Maybe this is a change. Maybe that he's changed something here, realizing something here. Let's see. Yes, yeah, she's looking for truth. There's no way around it. So let's see here. Yeah, he wants to give a small offer here with the Page of Pentacles. This is to say that he can grow his money independently. Let's see here, that he can be stability. Let's see, what is this love here? What is, how is this love gonna go here? She wants to express love. She wants, she feels like she can go ahead and do so. Or maybe he does. Let's see here, what else are we getting here? Uh, unrequited and control issues. So there may be an unrequited love here. Uh, one isn't feeling it as much as the other. And somebody needs to be more in the flow and stop trying to control the situation. There's a bit of playfulness here. Let's crack the deck. Wanting to get to know each other one more time and give your relationship a chance. He wants her to give him a chance. She feels he's too controlling and there's not something here that she's looking for. She's looking for some type of truth and she feels like something is shady here. Let's see what's, eh, let's get the tarot first. Yeah, she's still healing things. He's healing things. They're both learning. Let's see here. What else do we have? We have strength and she's going to rise above everyone else here when it comes to challenges or I'm kind of feeling any type of conflicting emotions or I kind of feel like whatever she's feeling, she's going to come to terms with whatever this is and whether or not it is for her or not. Let's see, what about him? He sees her as the tenth cup, which I agree. She she is playful. She is fun. She's, And she may not see the same in him. She may be more serious about this. Yeah, he's looking for any love that she may have left behind but she's walking away. I feel like it is her walking away from this. I don't feel it for her. I feel like she feels there's something going on here, something that's fallen apart for him. Let's see what's going on with the fortune between these two. What's going on for the fortune? She's looking for that happy family life. She's all about family. And she is the woman holding her heart. She definitely is looking for the one. He has a bit of anxiety here when it comes to this fruition. And he may see her as the woman holding a coin. Hmm. Deceit. Still deceit here. I'm not really liking that. Of course, let's see what Tarot has to say about this. 
She may be learning some things about him that she doesn't like and wanting to walk away. What about him? Let's see for him, please. Yeah, he's wanting to plant seeds with her, but the Ten of Swords is saying there's some type of deceit still here. They may not be on the same page and he may be telling her things that he knows she wants to hear. She may be able to see through this. Let's see what After Tarot says. She's very happy, go lucky. She may see the light when it comes to Zane. What about him? And he's watching her. She may be watching him as well. Let's see here. What is influencing this? What is the Juno here? What is influencing this relationship here? Well, there's serendipity. There is wish fulfillment that somebody is seeking, but she feels like it's a karmic, round and round and round and round. Just lessons to be learned. He wants to build things with her and wants, she may want him to breathe. He may be trying to control the situation here. What's the combined energy? Yeah, this is a never ending story. This is an ending to this. I feel like she's been there, done that. This is not her first rodeo. Oh, yes, right. Let us get the tarot first. She is all good on her own. The Nine of Pentacles is very self-sustaining, satisfied. Her wishes are being fulfilled for the most part. Maybe she has that sense of well-being. She doesn't need anybody. She wants to have somebody. Yeah, and he may just want a party, maybe with more than one person here. She's getting a different perspective about him. And he's looking at a passionate beginning here. Maybe with someone else, maybe with her, or maybe with the two of them. Let's see here. Now, this is the Midheaven. This is all about what their careers are saying. So she is quite the artist and she has a lot of options when it comes to things. She's has not just one talent, she's very diversified, I feel. Like she can do her YouTube channel, she's a singer, she can do other things as well. Let's see, light and love, yeah, she has a purpose. She brings healing to people. Now what about him? Hmm. He could focus more on nutrition, he could be more sensitive when it comes to things and maybe a little more supportive. So perhaps he's lacking in some areas here. Maybe needing to nurture more, be sensitive and supportive of the person he's with. Let's see. Yeah, she's looking for a team player, somebody that wants to cooperate and harmony here. She has that wheel of fortune turning in her favor. What about him? Yeah, he's he's wanting some love here. Uh, but yeah, she's walking away. Now this could have been in the past. Maybe that's why he's doing what he's doing now. Maybe he lost his true love or that he's looking for love and is not having a lot of success in that area. Let's have a look here at the after tarot. She's trying to be patient when it comes to this. And he may he may have his eyes on another target already. Let's have something go here for when it comes to the Lilith. What is his hidden emotions when it comes to Selena? Serena. Selena. Jeez. Huh. Well, he wants to see both sides, but I feel like that may be something that is lacking. He may have it, but it's not. he's not showing it. He may have faith, but he may not be showing that either, because these are hidden emotions. And he may be a bit of a workaholic here. He may want to work more than she does, or has a hard time having fun. Yeah and they want abundance here. 
What about her? What is she feeling towards Zane here? Oh, she's looking, uh, whatever, she's feeling, huh, whatever this is, is a failure. She's, she's looking for her destiny, what she's destined to have here. She's destined to be happy or find happiness. And she knows she has a place or a purpose here to serve spirit or others. What's the combined energy? Hmm, she might be enlightening Zane when it comes to spirituality or maybe enlightening about her energy about how to treat people. Having that true sense of self. Having that true honest behavior. Let's see here. What is the outcome here when it comes to the North Node? What is going on right now in their current life? She is getting her great fortune. What about him? What is he getting? Well, community. He may be getting a name for in talked about because I feel of her. Not that he hasn't had his own great uh, accomplish accomplishments, but I feel like the talk about the two of them is something here. What's going on here? She's held in high honor here. What about him? He sees her as privileged lady. What's their combined energy? Wow, lovers. My goodness, they both may be looking at love. I feel like he might want to go back to the past. Whoever was in the past for him. Maybe a queen of wands? Ah, she has many options. He's very passionate. He wants a passionate new beginning. She wants to plan for her future with somebody. And he may be tempted by others when it comes to pleasure. So maybe he has a Capricorn in mind here. But I don't see these two lasting very long. They may not even be a thing at all or anymore. Maybe just encountered or had a couple dates or met up once or twice. Let's have a look at what their intuition is telling them. For her, leaving him out in the cold and for him, oh, that he is the emperor. Wow. Okay, this is all about passion, stability, power, wealth, and being a leader. And let's see the tarot after. She is getting a blessing here financially. And what about him? He's moving forward, winning at all cost, having a competition. So it may be something that he's not ready to settle down like she is, the way she's looking at things. All right, guys, that's what I have for Selena Gomez and Zayn Malik. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the tribe of the Divine Oracles. You can donate if you'd like to um, in the PayPal uh, link in the description box, or you can do the super thanks. I appreciate all your likes, shares, comments, and just your support in general. I, I feel like this is really beautiful that there's so many people out there that are supporting the channel and just watching the videos. Thank you for that. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. Later.